just accept that. I'm not going to modify this distant light or anything either. Now that our scene is a little more illuminated, I'm just going to set up my prop real quickly here. Go into this tab. In the parameters tab, I'm going to just close the canopy right here. And then in my surfaces tab, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to select that canopy. And since that's semi-transparent, I'm just going to turn up the opacity on that. I'm going to choose the space saucer. And I'm just going quickly through this here just to set up my prop. I just want to set up my lighting model to glossy metallic. Come up here, check everything. And maybe the specular strength up to about 78. All right. So I have my object set up in my scene. Now the goal here is to get these lights lined up on the front of this ship. And in order to do that, first I'm going to set up beam A. All right, I can go into my scene tab here and select light beam A. Okay, so notice we have our light beam group folder here, and then we have our light beams here. Now, these are the nodes that you'd want to select, the light beam A and light beam B top nodes, in order to translate, rotate, and scale your objects. Anything below this, you don't have to worry about selecting at all. But this would be the node you would use to do all your transforms. So taking a look here, a little earlier I mentioned about this tilt light, turn light, but we do have our translation up here. All right, and we do have our scale property down here. And I'm going to just get into this a little bit later after I parent the beams to the saucer here. All right, so how would you go about doing this? We actually have a couple options. All right, you can use the orthogonal viewports to move the beams into place over the object, but I think there is a much easier way to do this. And the way you would do this is just double click on the spaceship here. All right, and I'm just going to position that spaceship. I'm going to translate that spaceship to just the, the zero, zero position. All right, I'm just going to set this up at the origin. And now, my scene tab, I can select beam B, and I can just set the origin of beam B to 0, 0, 0, and, well, beam A. So I can just make this a 0 here, a 0 here, and a 0 here. So now we have this at least in the vicinity of our spaceship. And then I'm going to go to B. I'm going to do the same thing. The parameters tab. I'm going to set this up to 0, 0, 0. So now we have those light beams in the approximate vicinity where we need them. And now I can simply just use the translation tools to position those beams into place on our ship here. So I'm going to start with beam A here. Just translating the beam up this way, over that way. Rotate things around a little bit. You get that so beam is right about directly over that light where we want it. Now notice that the angle of the beam is a little off. In the parameters tab, here we have the tilt light property. And if I set this to 180, it's going to put the beam straight out. So let's make that 180. Notice that the beam is straight out now. And this will help us adjust things a little bit more even. Do want this to be in here a little bit, okay? And I think you one nine there. Then we have the Z translate. Let me zoom out to see how that looks. Okay, and that's looking pretty good where it's at. Now we want to get beam B up into this other light here. But with beam A, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that node. And then I'm going to go up into my edit properties. 
that node selected, and I'm going to choose Copy Settings. And then I'm going to choose Light Beam B right here, and I'm going to go Edit. Oop. And actually, something went wrong here. Let me choose Light Beam A again. Edit, Copy Settings, Light Beam B. Edit, Paste Settings. All right, so what I did was I copied the settings for Beam A to Beam B, and now Beam B is kind of right on top of Beam A. But I've done this, so now all we have to do is just slide Beam B over to where it should be for the other light. All right, so right now we have our lights just about positioned. The only thing we have to do now is set up the angles of the light for the, for the headlights. Because notice these headlights are pointing outward, kind of on an angle. So we want to adjust the beams to compensate for that. So I'm just going to change to rotation mode here. And I'm just going to eyeball this and rotate this beam out to about here. And then I'm going to go back to my Scene tab, select Beam A. All right, in the Parameters tab, I'm going to rotate this beam out to about here. All right, and that looks pretty good. Now what we have to do is just, just some of the scale properties of the lights here. And with Beam A selected, I think I'm going to turn the scale down to about 80. And then I'm going to do the same thing for beam B. I'm going to just scale the beam down to about 80%. So it looks a little better in there. So it fits a little better into those headlights. You can go back up here into my content tab. And in that Studio Dreamlight folder for the light beams, notice the color here of my lights, they're yellow, so I want my beams to be yellow too. So I'm going to select beam A, I'm going to turn that into a yellow beam, select beam B, I'm going to turn that into a yellow beam. So things are starting to look pretty good. All right, now the next thing we want to do is parent the beams to the saucer. All right, now if I double click on the saucer here, if I move that saucer, we're gonna see that the beams are not attached to the saucer. So I'm gonna do a Control Z there. And in order to parent the beams to the saucer, what we'd have to do is take the space saucer, drag it into the Stage Effects Pro folder, and then from here, we need to drag the light beams onto the space saucer. All right, so everything seems to be parented, so let me just select that space saucer again. So taking a look here, everything seems to be parented okay. We can rotate our saucer around, and those light beams are just coming off. From there. So a really nice way to get some beams into your scene and attach to your object. So if you think about it, anything you would need to use a pair of light beams for, let's say car headlights, someone holding a flashlight, anything you would need light beams for, you can use that beam preset to get those beams into your scenes for Dash Studio. Now at this point, I'm just going to just show you what this render looks like. I'm going to add a backdrop here. Browse. I'm going to add some stars in the background. And again, not the most exciting scene in the world. I, I had to really keep this simple, but let's just render this and take a look at what it looks like here. And as this is rendering, I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so there we have it. That's the render of our Toon Alien spaceship with the beams coming off of it. And just a really nice feature of Stage FX 